Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. So the next topic in signal and systems is the operation on the signals and next is the type of the system. So we'll be learning these two topics over here. So if you haven't watched my previous video, please go and watch it out. In that we have discussed the introduction to signal and systems. It is there in the signal and system playlist on my channel. And also in the i button present over here so if you haven't watched it please go and watch it out still now if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do like share subscribe to my youtube channel uh, share it to as many people as you can the ones who can get benefited out of it there are many more videos going to come on signal systems as well as digital electronics in the future and many other subjects so do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video goes live so starting with the operation on the signal now these are very important terminologies please make it a point to understand it very well i'll try my level best to explain all of you the concepts make a note of it the notes are present in the description box Please download it from there, study it well and if you have any doubts, please do comment out so that the concepts can get clear to you. As we move along with the subjects in the future, these terms are going to be very important. If here there is ambiguity, it's going to be difficult for you to solve the further concepts. So please be very clear about the concept and let's dive in. So first is the time shifting operation. A signal can be either advanced or delayed in time. So that is a signal x of t which has an amplitude a and minus 2 2. You have to advance by 1 that is x of t minus 1. So what does this minus 1 means? You have to advance the signal by 1. You have to move forward the signal in the right direction by 1. So you have 2 over here, it becomes 3, minus 2 plus 1 becomes minus 1 and this is my x of t minus 1. When I talk about delay, it is x of t plus 1, that is you are going to delay the signal by 1. That is, the signal will be delayed by 1, hence from 2 it will come to 1 and from minus 2, it will go to delayed by minus 1, therefore minus 3. Hence, this is very important. So, time shifting is one very important operation on a signal. When I say x of t minus something, it means advancing the signal by that much unit. And when I say x of t plus 1, it means delaying the signal by that much unit. Hence, when a signal undergoes x of t minus t, it's called advancement. And when a signal undergoes x of t plus t, it's called as delay. Next, that is time scaling. So, time scaling indicates the expansion or compression of signal in time is called as time scaling. So, if you look over here, there is x of t. When I talk about x of 2t or x of 8t, it means compression. That is, I am going to reduce my time scale. 2t means you have to divide the time scale by 2. That is, this 2 will be divided by 2 to get 1. This minus 2 will be divided by 2 to get minus 1 and the amplitude remains the same. Similarly, if you have x of t by 2, then it means expansion that means you are going to multiply this time scale into 2 hence you have 2 into 2 is 4 minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 and you have amplitude as a i hope i am very clear similarly in case of discrete signal also x of n is given to you x of 3n is there so x of 3n means Dividing the time scale by that much unit, that is 3 by 3 becomes 1. And since 1 by 3, 2 by 3 are not integers, 
in case of discrete we have only integers and hence i am taking only 3 by 3 which is 1 and the value becomes 2 the value of it remains the same so that is the thing again 4 by 3 is not a in perfect integer value hence we are not considering that so operation on the signal is time shifting and time scaling time shifting means x of t is the signal given over here so x of t minus t means advancing the signal by t unit x of t plus t is delaying the signal by t units and the explanation is given over here similar time scaling means x of t is mentioned over here x of 2t is dividing the time scale by 2 2 divided by 2 minus 2 divided by 2 that is the thing and x of t by 2 indicates multiplying the time scale by that particular unit since it is x of t by 2 you are doing into 2 for the time scale had it been x of t by a it would have been into a for the time scale therefore you have 2 into 2 minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 a and that is the expansion similarly you have x of n mentioned to you now x of 3n indicates dividing the discrete time scale by 3 now 1 by 3 it's not an integer 2 by 3 is not an integer 3 by 3 is an integer that is 1 discrete signal always work in case of integer only hence we have 3 by 3 1 minus 3 by 3 f minus 1 and the amplitude of that remains the same try to find out the answer the next thing is the type of systems. Now there are different types of systems. One is a linear, non-linear, causal, non-causal, static, dynamic, time variant, time invariant, stability, instability. So what is this systems all about? We will be understanding the theoretical definition of it. Once we are clear with this particular theoretical definition, then we can try to solve a numerical so that you can apply this theory onto a numerical. So try to understand the theory, even if there is some ambiguity that remains, that will get cleared when we solve a numerical on the same. I hope I am very clear. So first is a linear and a non-linear system. So let us understand the theoretical thing of it, then we will solve the numerical. So a system is said to be linear if it satisfies the superposition theorem. The superposition theorem is divided into two parts. One is the additive property x1 of t gives y1 of t, x2 of t gives y2 of t, add the two equations, you will get this thing. Second thing is the scaling property, a into x1 of t is a into y1 of t, a into x2 of t is a into y2 of t, that is a scaling property. So, a linear system will always satisfy the additive and the scaling property, whereas the non-linear system will not be satisfying this particular property. Next you have the causal and the non-causal system. The causal system output depends upon the present and the past input. Whereas the non-causal system output depends upon the future input. So I hope I am very clear with this. A causal system okay, will always have its output dependent upon the present and the past input whereas the non-causal system will have its output dependent upon future input we will be solving a numerical that time we will understand it better but this is the theoretical part of it similarly static and a dynamic system a static system output depends upon the present input a dynamic depends upon past and future input so what is the difference if you see a causal system depends upon present and past or static system only depends upon present input or non-causal system depends upon future input whereas a dynamic system depends upon past and future so to differentiate a causal non-causal and static dynamic a causal system output depends upon present and past input whereas a static system output depends upon only the present input or non-causal depends upon future input a dynamic system depends upon past and future input. I hope I am very clear. Similar time variant and invariant. Just to sum it up, a system is said to be time invariant if the time shift in the input signal results in the corresponding time shift in the output signal. 
However, system is said to be variant if the time shift in the input signal does not lead to proportional time shift in the output signal. That is very, very, very important. When we solve a numerical, you will understand that better. So, let us try to solve a numerical and see how do we find out the type of system. So, first is the linearity, non-linearity. The question is given to you. So, what are you going to do in this question is, you are going to replace y of t with y1 of t and x of t with x1 of t, y of 2 with y2 of t and x of t with x2 of t and just add the two signals. So, you will get y1 of t plus y2 of t, 2 into x1 square of t plus x2 square of t plus 2. Now, this is one equation that you got. Now, you are going to replace y of t with y1 of t plus y2 of t and x of t with x1 of t plus x2 of t. So, replacing y of t with y1 of t plus y2 of t and x of t with x1 of t plus x2 of t and compare the equation 3 and 4. They are not the same, hence it is non-linear. Okay, so what you need to do is that whenever equation is given to you, replace y of t with y1 of t and x of t with x1 of t Replace y of t with y2 of t, x of t with x2 of t and get the two equations and add them. Then your y of t is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t. Your x of t is going to be x1 of t plus x2 of t. And compare 3 and 4 and if they are same, it is linear. If they are not, it is non-linear. The next thing is causality, non-causality. If you see, the output in case of a causal signal, right? Output depends on, on the present and past input. If it depends upon the future input, it's a non-causal signal, right? So, if you see, the output depends only on the present input, right? It is T. It is not T plus T naught. It's not depend upon the future time. It only depends upon present time. Hence, it is a causal system. Similarly, it's a static system because my output depends only on my present input time, not on t plus t naught, neither on t minus t naught, because it would have become a dynamic system if the output would have depend upon past and future input. But if you see, my output depends only on my present input, that is t. It's neither t plus t naught, neither t minus t naught. Hence, it is a static system. And about time variance, time invariance, what you need to do is that, Delay the input signal by T0, then wherever you have T, replace the T with T0, T minus T0. Okay, it should be replaced the signal with T minus T0 over here. So, if you do that thing, what happens is that your 1 and 2 are same and hence it is a time invariant system. Okay, so I will just repeat this question again so that you get a better idea about it. Whenever question is given to you, you do first find out the linearity, non-linearity. In case of linear, non-linearity, linearity is y, y of t is y1 of t, x of t is x1 of t, y of t is y2 of t and x of t is x2 of t. Add the two signals. Then here y of t is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t. Your x of t is equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t. So add 1 and 2. Get this equation. Get the fourth equation also. And if they are same, it is linear, it, it is non-linear. Causality, as I told you, if my output depends on the present and past, it is causal. If it depends upon the future, it is non-causal. If you see, my output depends upon the present input only, that is T, in terms of time scale. It is not T plus T naught in the future. Hence, it is a causal signal. Similarly, the output depends upon the present input. Hence, it is a static system. For time variant, time invariant, what you need to do is that, Replace the input signal, that is, by T0, hence T minus T0. Now, what you need to do is that, wherever you have T on the RHS, replace with T minus T0, okay? Not uh, with uh, T0, T minus T0. If you see, 1 and 2 remains the same, hence it is time invariant system. Similarly, you have Y of T. If you see, it is an integral signal, uh, 
integration and differential signal are always linear hence it's a linear signal causality ke bare mein what what i'm going to do is that i'm just putting the values of my limits on this thing x of t plus t not and minus x of minus infinity now my output depends upon my future input okay my output depends upon my future input hence it is a non causal signal if you see my output it depends upon the future input it becomes a non causal signal here if you see my output depends upon t plus t not hence it is a non causal signal static and dynamic static and dynamic mein you have again my output depends upon the future input and hence it is a dynamic signal time variance time variance it is going to be time invariant system if you do it via this method you will be able to do this question hence you can solve the question in such a way so we have learned today the operations on signal and the different type of systems if you understood the lecture please do not forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram the links are present down in the description box please share it to as many students as you can or as many people who can get benefited out of it i'll be very happy to know that and uh, thank you so much god bless all of you